In this video, we will introduce the concept of sub vector space. Okay. Sub vector space. So, as the words imply, a sub-vector space as object is a vector space in itself, but there is this sub-word at the beginning of the, of the name, which somehow implies that this vector space lives or is embedded in, in some other place, not just uh, any vector space, but the vector space inside something else. This is what, what these words indicate. Now, what is the motivation of studying something like this? The motivation of studying something like this is that, um, so we would like to study, given a vector space, so given A vector space V would like to study <laughs> vector spaces. with the same structure as V, vector spaces inside lying inside V endowed by the same vector space structure as V. Okay. So this is a totally different concept from studying just a subset of V which can be given some vector space structure. So the emphasis here is on the same vector space structure as V on those subsets. Okay, so let's start with the definition. So as we said, let definition let V be a vector space and W a subset of V subset. We will say that W is a sub vector space of V if the following two properties hold so property number one is so basically W is closed under the two operations that make V a vector space. Okay, the two operations are sum and multiplication by scalars. So being closed means that anytime I take vectors in here, uh, well, elements of W, and I operate on them with the same operations uh, that v that V has, I still remain within the same 
set w okay so the first property regards the, the behavior that w has with respect of the sum and the second property the behavior that w has with respect of the product with scalars okay so for any w1 w2 in w the sum w1 plus taken in v let me emphasize the fact that the sum is the one inside v the sum taken inside v of w1 and w2 belongs to w again okay so let's assume this is v and this is w so anytime i take two elements in w w1 w2 when i take the sum of w1 plus w2 so the sum leaves inside v because v is a vector space so the sum of w1 plus w2 will be somewhere inside v so it may happen that will be in here so w1 plus w2 or it might happen that it will be here w1 plus w2 now if there is a, a pair of the elements of w w1 w2 for which the sum is in here so is outside w then w is not a vector space however if for any choice of w1 and w2 their sum inside v belong belongs to the subset w then this property will be satisfied okay then this property will the first the property number one will be satisfied okay now let's see property number two property number two as i already anticipated regards the the closure of w with respect of the multiplication by scalars okay so for each alpha in k and little w in w the product alpha times w and this times is with respect of the vector space structure of v belongs to w so once again the same behavior as what well, the same possibilities may happen that may happen are those of regarding the sum so if i take a w inside the a little w inside big w then the multiplication of it by any scalar may land outside w or may land inside w in the first case w will not be a sub vector space of v in the second case if it happens for any choice of w and any choice of lambda that the product belongs to w then the property 2 is satisfied so if both property 1 and property 2 are satisfied then w will be called a sub vector space of v